Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of writing one step, one variable equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.9a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a fairly simple problem here. We have four students that are new, they're joining a class, and then after they join, you have a total of 32 students. So which equation can be used to find n, the number of students in the class before the four new students join? Well, if we know that our end result is 32, and we know that there were four new students that came, well, I'm thinking we can probably just subtract those four. All right, and let's see how many students we had. That makes the most sense. So we're going to make that 28. So it seems like our n equals 28, but if you noticed, that's not one of the answer choices because we didn't write it as an equation. We're trying to solve it. But you know what we can do is we can actually plug this 28 into each of these answer selections, and then we can take a look to see if it works. So A would say 28, we're replacing the N with 28 divided by 4, equals 32. Now 28 over 4, 28 divided by 4, that makes 7. So that is not our answer there. Look at B. 28 minus 4 equals 32. Let's see, 28 minus 4, no, that's going to make 24, so it's actually going in the wrong direction there. C, I don't think has a chance, because that's 28, and then you're multiplying by 4. Hmm. So 28 multiplied by 4, let's see, 28, 4, that's 32, wow, 112. That is not going to be it. So let's hope it's D. And then we'll look to see as to why that's the correct answer. 28 plus 4 equals 32. Yes, that is definitely going to work for us. Now, how did we get that equation from this right here? Well, let's see. There's two different ways we can look at it. First, we can take a look at our equation. 32 minus 4 equals 28. Right? That's, that's how we originally solved for that 28. We made it sample story problem, and we put it into an equation. Remember our fact families. Right? Remember every number sentence that's simple like this. It's got multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. They've got related number sentences. So remember, addition and subtraction have two of each, right? So 32 minus 28 equals 4, right? You can switch these two, as long as you're keeping 32 up front. And then remember, you also have two addition sentences that are related to it. So 28 plus 4 equals 32, or you can switch the order of the add-ins. 4 plus 28 equals 32. And so this is actually the one we're using right here. This 28 plus 4, and they're just replacing that with n because we said that n was 28. So that's one way that we could do it, is we could just make our own number sentence and find a related fact family sentence. The other way is to go back and reread the sentence and see if we can just write a number sentence straight from there. Because we kind of started from the end of this 32 and work backwards. But let's see what it says. After four new students joined. So four new students joined. Joined is definitely an addition right there. So we're going to say plus four. The class had, and so there's your equal sign right there, 32. And we'll be looking for originally this n. So you can do that. Either way, your answer is D.